Cartoon Network unveil a bold plan to move away from kids' content in favor of everything? Is this the bold embrace of a new horizon of artistic quality, or the desperate spasms of a dying company fighting to survive Zaslav's cutting spree? It's time for the latest news out of animation. When David Zaslav announced his cutting spree following Discovery's acquisition of Warner Media, Cartoon Network was not the focus of that conversation. People were talking about the $95 million Batgirl movie being shelved despite almost being complete, or the shows getting pulled from HBO Max without explanation. Compared to these dramatic, near-nonsensical displays of corporate budget cutting, CN seemed to be doing well. However, it too was suffering some degree of woes. Warner Discovery elected to merge Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network Studios, consolidating its animation output under one umbrella. They shaved off over a quarter of their existing TV animation workforce via this strategic restructuring, sacking 82 employees and closing 43 additional positions. This had people extremely worried about the future of Cartoon Network. Warner Animation is an IP-focused studio, concentrating on putting out works for existing franchises. They're the people who pump out new tie-in shows, more Batman, Looney Tunes, whatever will sell some merch. Cartoon Network is much better known for producing original works. Everything from Samurai Jack to Powerpuff Girls, Adventure Time, Steven Universe, Rick and Morty. They're the ones who've been pushing animation forward. There was a fair amount of doomsaying amongst those in the know, predicting that this would be the death of Cartoon Network. They'd just be used to pump out more IP-friendly content to enhance Warner's bottom line. However, CN President Michael Oelin pushed back on that in a recent interview with Variety, proclaiming that Cartoon Network isn't dead, though he admitted that they will have to tighten their belts somewhat. However, Oelin has tried to use this as an opportunity to refocus Cartoon Network on its original core values. Prior to the Discovery merger, Cartoon Network's expansion plans were focused on trying to compete with Disney. This was leading to a renewed focus on kids' animation, even a potential revival of their old live-action segments. Now that he's got more responsibilities, though, Oelin is planning to take the network in a different direction, one focused heavily on HBO Max. Going forward, Cartoon Network is going to be the sole force providing animation projects for the popular streaming service. As such, they're going to be producing a very wide range of content. The primary focus for Cartoon Network, however, is going to be shifting more towards its classic fare. To quote President Oelin directly, We said it was for a psychographic, not a demographic. The best animation works on a couple levels and works for a couple different audiences at once. And I think that's where Cartoon Network proper is coming back around to. This is an extremely positive mission statement. However, the underlying corporate plan here is much more questionable. While Cartoon Network promises to continue greenlighting original works, Oelin's statements are ultimately a thin veneer over people's concerns about the studio. Cartoon Network will be providing all of Warner's animated TV output. While there's still a place for new content, there's less budget to be shared around. We'll either be seeing fewer shows from Warner or existing shows made on smaller budgets. Will they be able to keep up with their past work? This is an epic gamble, and we'll be sure to keep you up to date on how it pans out, providing you with all the latest news out of animation.